The intent of this video is to discuss the phrase, give him the whole nine yards, as it pertains to the ammo belt length of a World War II U.S. bomber. Here's what usually occurs. A World War II bomber, bomber image is shared on social media showing a World War II bomber crew member with 50 caliber ammo belts draped over their shoulders, like you see in these images. Most certainly a comment will follow, something to the effect, you know, the World War II bomber ammo belt links were exactly 27 feet in length. This is where the phrase, give them the whole nine yards, originated. Is this statement fact or fiction? To address this issue, we need to calculate the number of cartridges in a 27-foot World War II 50 caliber linked belt. The measured distance between the linked 50 caliber cartridges equates to 0.961 inches based on this math. Therefore, a nine yard linked ammo belt would contain 338 rounds. The next question we need to address is, did any bomber gun station carry 338 rounds? World War II bomber ammo either came in crates or the base's armorer would link the loose cartridges with a linker-delinker machine based on the ammo mix requirements. Ammo crates can be seen in these images. World War II ammo crates contain 265 linked rounds. 265 linked rounds equated to a belt length a hair over seven yards. This chart represents the quantity of ammo carried at each of the B-17 bombers gun stations. The chart source is located here. Ammo allocated per gun varied between 250 to 600 rounds. None of the B-17 bomber gun stations carried 338 rounds. The tabular data for each gun station is shown here the ammo quantity carried at each of the B-24 bombers gun stations. Chart source is located here. Ammo allocated per gun varied between 250 and 508 rounds. Just like the B-17, none of the B-24 bombers gun stations carried 338 rounds. This chart represents the quantity of ammo carried at each of the B-29 bombers gun stations. All B-29 turrets were fed from ammo boxes that contained 500 rounds per gun. Ammo carried per gun on the P-51 Mustang is represented by this chart. Ammo allotted per gun equated to 270, 400, or 500 rounds depending on the mission. Just like the bombers, none of the P-51 Mustang gun stations carry 338 rounds. In summary, a 27-foot linked 50 caliber cartridge ammo belt would contain 338 rounds. No World War II U.S. bomber station ammo box carried 338 rounds. The P-51 Mustang did also did not carry 338 rounds at any of its gun stations. Other secondary considerations are that, you know, ammo is measured by the number of cartridges, not the belt length. Aerial gunners were trained to fire in short bursts to minimize barrel heat, increase accuracy, and to conserve ammo. It would take 26 seconds to dispense 338 rounds of the 50 caliber cartridge in continuous fire. The barrel would be damaged, accuracy would be wild, and any extra rounds not fired would be subject to a dangerous cook-off. In summary, the phrase the whole nine yards has nothing to do with U.S. bombers or any other World War II U.S. heavy bomber. Please click on the circle to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more of these World War II U.S. bomber videos.